What's up, Jaywalkers? We are going to be watching the Season 6 finale of The Vampire Diaries. We are finally to the last episode. And the last episode, Kai... Kai is back with a vengeance. Uh, and the show had its own red wedding. We had the greatest wedding about to go down with Alark and Joe, of course. Alark had just said his vows as Joe was saying hers. Uh, she got stabbed. By Kai. The stomach. It was graphic. It was brutal. Uh, and honestly, the perfect entrance for Kai to come back. Uh, so things aren't looking good for us. Of course, it's the finale. The last episode, we had some, some great Dalina content as well. Uh, it was just all around a pretty good episode with a tragic ending. And that's really the only way I could explain the last one. But uh, looking forward to this finale, guys. The full reaction to this episode and all other ones I have watched for the Vampire Diaries are up on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every video here on YouTube. So if you want to check out the full uncut and edited reactions and get them early, feel free to hit that link and do so. If you're on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. With that being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Hey, this is where Damon first met Elena. What are you doing? What are we doing? Waiting for you. That kiss was perfect. It's bad. Dance with me. Please. Elena. Well, that is a horrible transition. Oh. And it's human. She can't survive shit like this. Oh my god. She won't wake up. I don't understand. Get her to the hospital now. She's human. What if she doesn't? God damn. Nothing personal, but this is a family matter now. <laughs> but you can't kill me. Or else you all die too, right? Hey, I'm sorry about your twinsies. I see. Rule. Cool. Your family decides that you're nothing but an irredeemable piece of trash. Well, I guess the best thing to do is prove them right. Kai gave no fucks there. Oh. You're going easy on me. Huh. Come on. This is supposed to be a special moment. Wild, wild. Yeah, look, I can't do this. I have no idea how good it is to hear your voice right now. Damon, Always Kai's out. Always good to hear from Bonnie. I know. I'm glad you're safe. I was worried oh, about he got to you. He did, and I don't know how, but I'm still alive. Joe's daddy killed her. And Elena got knocked out, and she's not waking up. Anyone can fix our problems! We know who it is. It's Bonnie. It's always been Bonnie. Good. You're up. That's when I pulled you from the wedding mayhem. We know this is our friend, so... Kai is dead. And I grabbed the two of you to help me deal with a bigger problem. There's a bigger problem? He, he said they would be here. They're probably scared out of their minds. Who are you talking about? My friends. Kai brought them back when he escaped that prison. He lied to you. There's nobody out here. Okay. You're wasting your time. Are we... The screams. Your dad. You're covered. They're all in there. Which means. No. Love you, Liv. About you time you said that, that, Tyler. This has to be it for us. You're not dying, Tyler. It's a full man. It'll heal you. <laughs> you have to. Ain't that some shit? No. You once told me that I gave you a second chance. And you promised me that you wouldn't waste it. Too early for the too early for all of this. Just imagine if you guys would have been like this three weeks ago. Don't waste it. I'd be like, never mind. Like as soon as I start dying from this shit, get your fucking hands off of me. No way. Once again, what a start. What a start to this. This tragedy. Elena's going through it, Damon's going through it, Alaric's going through it, I'm going through it, everyone's going through it. Lily, you either come with me right now, or you're out of my life. Can't say no to that. I'm sorry. She said no to that, what the hell? Malcolm, my here, sweetheart. What did you give Kai? I gave him my blood. <laughs> we're not getting rid of him yet. You gotta love Kai. You gotta hate him, but you gotta love him. You know, Joe is like barely been here, but it feels like she's been here since season one. 
can really attach to her. I was happy for a lark. Start to rip apart from me. You put that damn gun away, a lark, and you throw it so far away. Never want to see that again. This will get us nowhere. Bad time? Freaky, right? I turned myself into one of Lily's heretics. A lark, I was afraid of this. Thing. <sighs> Perfect, no, that was perfect. Luck. Yeah, Tyler, this is who you need to go after. Once again, it won't do us no good, but at this point, it's worth a shot. Kind of always joking yeah, around. You're probably wondering why you're still alive, since I should have bled you out one painful ounce at a time. Want to make you suffer? Uh, what is this? Watch. This is torture. What's happening to me? There's a cure in New Orleans. I'll go get it for you. Just tell me what you did to Elena. Oh, well, I can't. I'd do like it. to see Clowns back on the show. She's in perfect health. So stay that way until she wakes. So, monster, I linked Elena's life to yours. As long as you're alive, Elena will remain asleep. Oh my god. Unbelievable! Oh, I told you so that if you do try to outsmart it, both you and Elena will die. Your betrayal really hurt me, Bon. Bonnie lives. So this is kind of all your fault. Bonnie sleeps. Uh, Bonnie ain't dying. Bon, Elena's the only thing Damon Salvatore cares about. He'll kill you. You have to get out of here now. Damon will do no such thing to Bonnie. Think about it. His best friend. Every day that you wake up now, but Elena will probably never speak to you again. Hi. Sick ass game. If they can't break the spell, are you gonna be okay? At the moment someone is okay. After Bonnie's lived too long. Here comes Kai. Here Happy comes life. Somebody to ruin everything. But you. But it's alright. I don't think Elena necessarily came into my life to be my soulmate. And her faith in him, it brought Damon and me back together. I needed him more than I needed her. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, like, that might be the greatest quote in the show. Stay away from me. Maybe in a more beautiful pa place. The sun out, flowers around. Maybe that would have been a better speech. Anyone alive? Just raise your hand. Need blood. Give me some ointment. <laughs> this is the showdown we all need. I'm stronger. Under the spell, Kai. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing at this. Sick, twisted oh. bastard. Oh, I can't undo the spell, buddy. No. Guy turns into a wolf. As if it's magic, right? Because it's actually their venom's magic, too. Incredible. Focus. Kai is too much for all of us. Tell me, Damon. I can see it all over your face. How bad is it? Guy linked you to body. We don't need your commentary, guy. No blood on your hands. Not right here. You're get to live the life you always dreamed of. I'm so sorry, buddy. That's it? Me you think he'd at least flip a coin. Heads, he picks you. Tails, he picks... God <laughs> damn! Scary demon. I can't believe this is actually happening. That Elena's gone for now. Oh, 
Okay, are we seriously having a sleepover? Take care of it for me while I'm gone, okay? Promise. <laughs> Promise me something. Both of you. Write it all down. Everything that you accomplish in your lives. So that one day when I wake up, I can read all about my best friend's lives and feel oh. like I was there. I'm so sorry. Melina, I promise. I'm so sorry. You have spent your entire life making sacrifices for me. Now it's my turn to do it for you. Can you do it one last time? season six finale of the vampire diaries and if there's one thing the show does right the main thing they do right uh is how incredible the finales always are and this one just speaks volumes to that 
uh, and how well they, they do them. They put a lot of work into them for sure. And this one, it was, it was good, man. It was tragic. We had to say goodbye to Atlanta. Uh, and, and that whole thing is still surreal to me, what Kai did. Uh, of course, if Bonnie's alive, Atlanta's going to be sleeping, and Atlanta will finally wake up when Bonnie dies. Uh, very cruel. And, you know, the ultimate punishment to everyone involved in that situation. But, uh, yeah, just knowing that Elena is is sleeping and there's no, absolutely no way to get her back. Uh, and how the show will probably have maybe a full season without Elena. Uh, it's got to be different because I don't see Bonnie dying anytime soon. I don't, I don't see them figuring this out anytime soon. So uh, maybe going a whole season without Elena, uh, it's going to be different for sure. I mean, the show has been focused around her mainly a lot. And uh, Elena, she was a pain at times. She was a pain. She was she was hard to, to enjoy as much as other characters at times. Uh, but Elena, she, it's Elena. And Elena can't be gone. Even though she's not gone permanently, she just, I don't know, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be weird for this show to go in that direction, but, uh, like I said, a well done finale. This was such a good episode, uh, and I think all the goodbyes that Elena had to say, and that everyone had to say, like, Damon's, the dancing, uh, it was perfect, Stefan's, Elena saying how Stefan pretty much saved her life and gave her happiness again. With Matt, with Matt becoming a police officer, and even Tyler had a Tyler had a good one. Uh, she's saying, "Don't be mad that you're a werewolf. Just embrace it. Let that be a part of of who you are." Uh, or Larix. Uh, I just thought it was really cool how all these characters had their own goodbyes with Elena, uh, and then of course Bonnie and Caroline's too. So hard, and I think the, the moment where Kai pretty much put Damon on the spot and made him choose between Bonnie and Elena, uh, and Damon, it kind of he kind of scared me for a minute when he walked off. That he came back and sent Kai's head into a new dimension, just straight up chopped that damn thing off. Uh, that was a that was one of my favorite scenes of the episode when Damon came back and did that to Kai and saved Bonnie uh, instead of of letting her go for Elena. I think that was the perfect thing for Damon to do. That's his best friend. Uh, season 6. A lot to say about it, but it was a, it was a really it was a really good season of the Vampire Diaries. Like I've heard a lot of mixed things about it before I jumped into it, but I I enjoyed this one uh, probably more than season 5, if we're being honest. A lot of a lot of great moments. Uh, and I would say probably each of my top favorite Zelina moments came from this season, so it was a big season for Zelina. Uh, and, yeah, I, I enjoyed them the most this season. They had some ups and downs, but uh, for the most part, they were just absolutely incredible this season. Stefan and Caroline, another one that's just a lot of ups and downs. Uh, it's a tragic season for Caroline, really. But uh, a lot of ups and downs between them two, but I enjoyed watching it all uh, and just seeing... seeing their relationship come to what it is and how Stefan made Caroline smile at the end with what he said on how he'll wait forever if he has to uh, and he gave her a list of, of all the reasons he loves her and how him loving her has changed him uh, it was some some cute stuff but uh, yeah I really enjoyed the season great finale to top it all off Delina killed it this season uh, a lot of a lot of sad moments this season I think the sad moments really stand out to me uh, especially with Caroline and everything she went through, some of the most emo some of the most emotional stuff, and now saying goodbye to Elena. Uh, yeah, so a dark season for sure, but a really good season at that. I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to every episode this season. See you for season seven. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.